You may be wondering why I have the PS5 right here. Well, if you don't know, you can actually put our Savin Rocket 4 Plus inside this thing. And now we have an exciting new product that I want to tease with you today. Hello everyone, it's Mike from Sabrent here and if you enjoy tech videos and tech related videos then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated. The PS5 has been an extremely popular console with sales figures showing that it's got a commanding lead over the Xbox Series X. Now I'm not getting into which console is better or anything like that but the PS5 does have a trick up its sleeve and that is the fact that you can load a fast SSD of your own to expand the PS5 storage. Currently the PS5 has 825 gigabytes of storage but only has around 660 gigabytes of usable memory to play with because a large chunk of the storage is reserved for system files and even the PlayStation's operating system meaning that with games being between 30 to even up to 100 gigabytes each, storage in this thing is at a premium. PlayStation have released a beta program where you can install an NVMe SSD like this one as long as it reaches 5,500 megabytes per second. Our Saban Rocket 4 Plus not only achieves this, but smashes it with read and write speeds reaching 7,000 and 6,000 megabytes per second respectively. However, when you want to install a heatsink, well, you have two choices. You can either install one of our Sabrent heat sinks, which dissipate heats extremely well, but means that the SSD cover as well as the PlayStation cover can't really be reattached, or you have to go for a cheap, small heat sink that doesn't perform as well, but enables you to close up the PS5. Well, choose no more because we have made probably the best heatsink and SSD combo for the PS5 in my opinion. And doesn't it look great? So in my hands is actually one of the final samples, which means that there might be a little bit more tweaking and hence why I have no retail packaging for this. But honestly, I was so excited when I got this in that I just had to share it with you guys. So you're getting an exclusive here. Give this video a like, and make sure to hit that subscribe button to see more stuff like this. Rather than making you choose between closing up your SSD or having a decent heatsink, we decided to just make the entire cover a heatsink. But enough of me talking, let me show you how to install this thing and what it looks like. So this is everything you're gonna need to install the heatsink and SSD into the PlayStation. So let's move that all to one side and let's open this thing up. First of all, you're gonna have to remove the stand from the PS5, so this uses a flathead screw screwdriver so let's unscrew that now with the drive if you've got the digital version with the drive that's uh, pointing this way what you want to do is you want to just lift up slightly and then pull to the side as you can see and then that just pulls off and then in here is where the SSD is so what we're going to do is is we're going to remove the SSD uh, cover and make sure to keep this just in case if you want to sell it later on and then as you can see, we have uh, screw holes for 30, 42, 60, 80, and 110 NVMe SSD sizes. The Rocket 4 Plus is an 80 millimeter SSD. So what we're gonna do is, is we're just going to unscrew and make sure you remove not only the screw, but also there's this little, I'll try and show you guys, there's this little standoff. So make sure you remove both the screw and the standoff. And then you wanna install that into the 80 mil slot. And then you wanna grab your SSD and you wanna slot that in at a 45 degree angle. So make sure that's in securely and then push that down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw that back in. There you go. And now we have the SSD installed. Then you have the thermal pad. So you can either have done it uh, before you've installed the SSD or you can obviously install it after then just remove that like so so the thermal pad is on the SSD and then we have the heatsink cover so what you're going to need is the screw that came with the SSD cover and then you want to slide this inside and then you want to push that down and then you want to grab the screw that came with the original SSD cover and then screw that in and there you go. It's now all installed, heatsink and everything and doesn't that just look so good? 
Then you just want to grab the cover and slide that and lock it into place. As you can see, not only is this a far more elegant solution for your PS5, but also should bring some top performance without any sacrifice. Pairing our Saturn Rocket 4 Plus and this heatsink, we think that this will take your PS5 to the next level. And I hope that you do too. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook as I'll let you know when this thing drops. As I said earlier, the SSD PlayStation software is still in beta but should be out hopefully before the holidays. So this could make a very early holiday present for you. <laughs> but that's it for today. If you found this video interesting, then hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you wanna watch more content like this. Anyway, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.